up you guys welcome back to another video another vlog if you're new here my name is Dee do not forget to like comment subscribe to my channel check out some of my other videos and I like to call my subscribers family so let me know if you're the friend of the friend the cousin the niece the auntie whoever you are that's who I'm going to call you by so you guys today is Friday um right now I'm about to go ahead and go to the gym oh y'all yeah, I'm sorry hold on y'all I hate when I get stuff in my eye. Anyways, um, today's Friday. About to go to the gym and then get a salad. But um, nothing's pretty much going on. As y'all can see, y'all can tell from my last vlog, my hair. I took the wig off because I'm going to put it back on. Because I just wanted to like sleep free. Like I know for a fact that I know I'm not the only one. I just had to sleep free, y'all. It just I couldn't do it no more. So, but I have been looking at to some hair um, stylists to do me some braids. So, I'm going to get some braids. I gotta, that's going to be coming um, next couple of weeks or whatever. But, um, I just wanted to open up the vlog and um, let y'all know what's going on. Y'all, in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Drop your comments below. Make sure y'all drop y'all comments on the vlog or what you like in the vlog or whatever the case may be. And also, when I do not post, I do post um, in the community tab. So, check that out. I be posting shorts too, you guys. So, if y'all ever want to stay connected with me, go there or my Instagram at MissQueen underscore D. And then... Oh, this is so hot outside. Feel like I'm still at the gym. Lord have mercy. Y'all, disclaimer. Y'all don't know what hot is until you come to Texas, baby. It's hot. Okay, y'all. So, I was in Target because I have, um watched the Leah's face and it was an esthetician had put some comments below the video and he was giving her some more tips and stuff and he was recommending like some products so I basically told him like hey you know I have breakouts around my chin area just like Aaliyah was saying and I have um it don't be bumps you know as you can see right here it, and he was basically saying like you know your pores are clogged you need to get you some niacinamide the ordinary i don't know if y'all remember but i had told y'all about the cosmetic company store they had them for four dollars so i did not know it was for that i thought well the ordinary has a lot of products to be honest and my daughter was pretty much using it for her blemishes so they was just basically the esthetician was saying that you need the niacinamide let whatever acid which um he was also suggesting like retinol too but um and a vitamin c serum so i'm at target because i'm trying to get the products because she linked it below but of course my daughter got to be picked up i ain't got me nothing to eat but i did call sephora while i was in the store i act like i was online but they don't know that i was like hey you know which one is good for clogged pores and they said that not cinnamon is really good for clogged pores and what's so crazy my daughter been using it the whole time but like i said they got different versions so what i'm gonna do i just got the, the not cinnamon stuff and then next i'm going to I had to leave Target, so I guess I'm going to have to do a part two and do it in this vlog or something. Let's go get the other products because I need to. So once I get home, I'm probably going to wash my face and use the product. And I'm definitely going to let y'all know um, from there. Yep. 
what you do. Uh, hey, that is true. But when it comes to it, they just, that's what they do. They, 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 they don't have any problem sucking a woman dry, wasting their time, and taking the resources or whatever the case may be on to the next one. Let's say something was to happen and y'all was on a date or something. You going to the funeral, what you gonna be listed as? A friend. The guest. The, the guest. Okay, y'all. So I was on the phone with my friend, as y'all can tell. I'm not gonna tell her business, but we was just basically talking about something. <laughs> she had to go do a little pop-up, and I was just trying to make sure she was okay, because she not that type of person, so I was just like, girl, like, you was, you know, and she was just saying, you know, as women, like, you know, we, men have scorned us and done us so wrong because, and like I told her, you know, we are each other's nature, you know, but I, I you know, I had to also let her know, like, which she knows this, before you make a decision, you have to think about what this, what this nigga do the same thing for you. Don't think so because they gonna have every excuse in the world you know so she says you know i'm glad that the whole you know situation turned out right but yeah i just used the ordinary i had already washed my face with the biore i think i'm gonna wait to use the retinol because they said the retinol do you wrong you go through a bad phase with the chemical cells in your skin and then it turns it over so I'm gonna just wait on the retinol. I don't know. Probably in this vlog, we'll probably go do some more skincare items because that's the main thing I suffer with is like the dark blemishes and clogged pores. So, but yeah. So I'm about to. I got some Amazon stuff, you guys. So I'm going to show you that. And then what else? I don't know. I'm gonna go get me something to eat. I ain't even stop. I got nothing to eat, child. So. Yeah, but if y'all uh, want to do some more chit chats about memes and stuff, drop that down below. Like the video. I don't mind. Because I would rather, like, that's what type of girl I am. Like, I don't want to sit around, just sit up there and just talk about men all day. But I just feel like we have to take our own advice. We give it, give it, give. We need to start taking our own advice. Like, we have to. You know? And Kyle Santillian, enjoy the weekend. That's right, because Monday morning, the cash and dash, the birthday bash returns with your chance to win a share. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. Today is Saturday, May the 6th. Um, I hope y'all had a good Mar um, Cinco de Mayo and margaritas. Because, y'all, it was... I didn't. Yesterday, I heard the police and the ambulance like going off all day long because i seen a lot of traffic and people was trying to get to the festivities but i'm so glad that i didn't go anywhere because some people it, it might not be you it's just other your surroundings and people driving i've seen so many cars stuck in weird places today but anyways um i went to the gym this morning went to the gym dropped my daughter off and in the midst of that y'all i had set up here and went online because like i told y'all i'm trying to look for my ticket child why did i find the ticket one way one way back for 57 dollars. i said oh oh bitch go get that ticket 
normally I'll get it online, but because it was so cheap, I was like, let me go try to go get this ticket at the gate. Child got the ticket at the gate. The man didn't have me pay for my seat. He gave me my seat for free. Gave me a seat that I like too. I like the owl seat. And um, real nice. Girl, that ticket came up to like $40. Because online, you know, they charge you the taxes and the fees. Online, it was like 57 plus tax in the seat it was like probably like you know how spirit is so yes it's with spirit normally i don't mind taking spirit you know of course if it's cheap but my points are with a different airline so i like to stick to my points well baby for that price i said oh damn this i'm gonna get that ticket on my way back it's an evening ticket it's okay i'm fine with it i wanted to be home a little bit earlier than that but shit you know for 40 some dollars baby it is what it is so i got that so I'm about to go home. I need to get me something to drink. I'm about to go home, shower, because I worked out, I'm sweating. And I'm going to uh, put my wig back on, honey. Put my wig back on. And um, I know Raven, she was telling me something about she doing a crab boil. So I'm gonna see if she do do it. I think that's basically her giving me an invite. Um, so yeah. And then I do have to show y'all the Amazon stuff that I did not show y'all yesterday, last night. Um, I'm gonna show y'all that. It, it's nothing really, it's just, you know, three things, but still, I wanna show it to y'all. So yeah. So I just wanted to check in with y'all, but yeah, yeah, side note. If y'all ever trying to fly somewhere, you see it online, the ticket price is always going to be cheaper at the gate so you can go to the gate and they will knock off another 30 maybe 40 dollars depending um if it's a round trip ticket it's gonna you know you'll see the difference so if i were y'all you know the airport ain't too far away from my house but to me it was worth it shit. like i i'll spend that you know what i'm saying to go pay for it at the gate so yeah Hey y'all, so it's much later on. As you can tell, I put the wig back on. And guess what it's gonna do? Because I'm actually gonna do this little unboxing with y'all and then I'm gonna be headed to um, Raven's house cause she's doing like a little um, seafood boil and she invited me over. So I'm definitely going to go. So, my Amazon boxes, y'all, if y'all don't know, you can uh, condense your Amazon boxes all into one delivery that day. So that way, um, you don't have everybody coming to your house, dropping off one little small box. And you could just have them just drop it off all at one time. So a couple things. It's only three things, but still. So first thing first. Ooh, now they wrong for this. So, I needed some stuff for my desk. Really, y'all sit up here and put all this. I need some stuff for my desk, so I got this. It's a acrylic, like, um, holder. It's for, like, you to put your sticky notes, pens, and stuff like that. Because I tried to find, like, one, my desk is black, but I was like, I wanted to find something kind of aesthetic, but again, I'm not the aesthetic girl, so I got this right here um the link is i'm gonna drop the links below i think that was like probably 799 899 something like that next i got i don't know why this stuff is so hard to open oh next thing i got is a put all my pins because honey i got so many pins so basically i'm gonna have these two for my desk so that's that and then last item i got child i must not be strong today i don't know why i got these um ziploc gallon reusable bags because i be mean ziploc bag just on the strength of when i be going to the grocery store and breaking my meat down and saving meat ground beef and all that type of stuff so shout out to mckenna 
like I said, I like to go to the other girl's um, Amazon storefront and I was just browsing and she had these reusable Ziplocs. So guess what? Instead of like purchasing Ziploc bags and purchasing them, mm -mm. so I got six gallon. There's some where you can like build it. You could do like the gallon. You could get like four, four gallons of the large ones and two or something like that of the other sizes, like the sandwich. But I need gallon Ziploc bags. So I got these. And the way that they smell the child, I'm going to soak these things and put them in the sink because mm -mm, they do not smell right. So I was like, that's so smart. So I got six of them. So I would advise y'all to get some of these because when I tell you, like, they would come in handy, literally. So that way you can keep reusing, reusing. But y'all check out other people Amazon storefront. I want to do one, but I don't want to do one now because I feel like, you know, I'm trying to focus on other things. But I definitely want to do an Amazon storefront. But the links for all this stuff right here is going to be down below. So uh, I made it to Raven's house. I forgot to tell y'all, Raven is the one that I went to on the border with. I didn't show her the last time, but she invited me over for a seafood ball. You want me to show you? Yeah. Okay, y'all, that's hey, Raven. Say hey. She got a YouTube channel too. She is a hairstylist. Mm -hmm. She know about extensions and a whole bunch of other stuff. You do do you be doing DIY stuff like that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she be doing that too. And she like me too. She like to have a good time, drink, socialize and everything. Y'all look at this um thing that her daughter well, did. You don't want her did this? No. My sister did. Tony, no, Robin. All right, baby. I'm gonna see you in what you said, thirty minutes. Right here. I need one of these just to have for my own. In, in 16 and 14. Usually we do them all out. Like we put all the little dressings and put all the roses and stuff. But I was like, well, let's just confine it today because we don't have any. It's a small little, you know. I was like, she did that. I invited three. I, I always tell people I'm not the arts and crafty. I'm not. I, I've never been a baker. And that's because my mama, she not, you know. Look like that. My mama, we had my, my granddad, he was a chef. Okay, so we're going to go around and everybody's just going to say one thing that we yeah. told you. Yeah. You want to start ladies first? Come on, D, what we tossing to, girl? Make more money. More success, more money. Woo! Shit, I'm tossing some good agree. sex tonight. I agree. Go ahead. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Hi you guys welcome back to another day in a vlog if y'all see me like this it's because i'm driving um today is sunday and um y'all last night the weather was really bad when i left raven's house but y'all in another tragedy y'all um there was another shooting and the shooting took place y'all here um it took place in allen it's an allen outlet mall let me fix y'all a little bit it's called, it's Allen. Yes, I got the same shirt on too because I'm gonna go to the gym. So, yeah. Um, let me turn y'all this way. Yeah, right there. Well, I just hope y'all. Anyways, y'all, the shooting took place in Allen, Allen Outlet Mall. It's kind of like a, it's a discount mall. Um, get a lot of traffic there. We have several Allen, um, we have several outlets, but Allen is kind of like, when my family comes here, my aunt, my mom's sister, she like that outlet mall. So, um, it's, I'm just trying to gather my thoughts, you guys. So, what took place was someone, I don't know whom, but I think they haven't identified the person's name. So, I'm going to just tell you in the order that I was told or what i seen. So, basically, they were at the outlet mall. People was at the H&M Express side. And all of a sudden that somebody just opened fire um he got killed by the police officer and then also there were some victims that got killed the youngest was five the oldest was 61 and y'all it's just crazy and what's you know and before it you know i heard that around in the evening yesterday before I went to Raven's house and my mom, she was like, oh, uh, we're going to go to the outlet tomorrow. And I just blatantly, excuse me, I told my mom, you ain't going no goddamn well because they, I heard it was a shooting, but I didn't really get the details. And so when my mom found out, she was like, oh yeah, I'm not going. I'm like, I know you're not going. 
and my mom you know is older she's elderly she walks you know very slow so I'm just like I'm all spooked up because they said people was opening up their car doors and letting strangers get in the car with them um people was trying to help people and they did identify somebody but they haven't released their name they went to the home over there in Dallas and um they said the person you know always was having security you know attire on i'm just you guys it's so it's unsafe it's so unsafe and i love a good shopping day especially at the outlets i love that people really go to that out all these outlets and the malls and stuff especially like you know for holidays back to school you know so um uh, yeah so i got it this morning i really didn't even try to rush myself getting up or anything i just basically laid there getting some more updates so yeah y'all y'all pray for texas because that town where it happened at it's on the other side it's like over there by plano frisco so it doesn't matter where you at honestly it don't and it's just like the stuff around here is like people was closing down stuff you know because people get very traumatic they don't know who you know they haven't identified the people released their names but i'm pretty sure they will but um i just wanted to get on camera y'all and just say love on your loved ones when you see them when they go to work school or anything because it could be the last time and um Hi you guys welcome back to another day in the vlog y'all i didn't have a lot of content so um this is gonna be a continuation but um y'all see my hat yeah i took the wig off everything y'all so mm, you already know like i'm on i'm busy i ain't really too worried about being cute or not anyways y'all check this out so my job i'm gonna just summarize it again if you all do not know i work a nine to five and basically i approve people time off if you're like in a car wreck medically having a baby stuff like that so this man i've been trying to tell this man for about two weeks now like you, what you need to get an extension so you could continue to get paid and first of all the number he had on file was his mama number and i was just like so eventually i had to ask the mama like well can i have his contact number i'm calling on behalf of his employer so she gave it to me so i finally got in contact with him and told him and he was like okay second phone call he was like okay i'm gonna get the paperwork okay so i keep telling him and anytime i reach out you know it's documented anyways long story short he finally gets something from the hospital talking about he been seen on 419 um it's five this is may sir okay and the letter just saying two sentences saying that oh he still needs to be off work until 519 okay but where's the diagnosis of where you've been actually treated it's been confirmed by a doctor yeah you went to the hospital and we gave you the initiation of approval for two weeks cool right cool then all of a sudden that little paper that you sent there with two sentences ain't gonna do boo so he called last week talking about well can i give you my credentials to get into my account um i can't print out the paperwork the hospital won't print it out i don't have nobody to print it out sir d do you hear yourself this line is recorded you basically want me to incriminate myself to get into your account to print off some stuff for you and eh, what is wrong with you no so he was like um well, how else I'm going to print it out? I don't know how else you're going to print it out, sir. Like, you telling me something. You're the one that's going to get the payment. You're the one who's going to get it into your account. Not me. Not D. 
so it's not to like you know saying oh i wouldn't help you out but he just like well what you know y'all gonna have to figure it out okay okay so now your shit is denied now it's denied right <laughs> so he eventually sent something in but it was like the aftercare visit um explaining what he needs to do to keep you know to you know continue to heal right so he sent me that that ain't still there's no diagnosis on there he was like well what else do y'all want i got shot okay you got shot we approve you but you gotta understand something sir you do not pay yourself your job do so if your job says that this is what you need to have in that's exactly that you what you gonna do or you don't have to you know you don't have to so <laughs> he called today and customer service reached out they was like um yeah he on the line i said i put my note yeah we told him that and he said he want to get a car by 2 30. <laughs> see i'm the wrong one to tell Baby, let me tell you something. I don't even listen to my own man sometimes when he tell me something like that. You better you better know how to ask something. So, I was like, oh, he want to call by 2.30? Okay. So, I said, I know how to fix him. So, me being who I am because I have the leverage, I reached out to his HR. I said, he is talking to uh, customer service rudely, telling us we not doing our job. She said, I already talked to him. She said, and who is he? And HR rep said, who is he to tell y'all what I said exactly? Because see, me and her, we here. We here. Ain't nobody listening to that. So I told her, I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and call him on the line. She said, you know what, Leah? Let's go ahead and do this so that way he don't have to say. Because they will lie, child. They will lie. Bed, borrow, and steal. Okay? So we call him. My lipstick is a little bit too dark. We call him. Me and the HR rep, right? On three-way. So we can get this resolved. So he can just hear from both of us. While we get on the line, he told my son he can't talk right now. <laughs> okay. You can't talk right now. Okay. So the HR rep said, you don't have to, you know, if he reached out to customer service, send him over here. Okay. So guess what? I was just the reason why I called him back on three way because sometimes you have to let the you have to let them know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let them know. Like as a manager, you ain't gonna tell me what I'm gonna do. You ain't gonna do that, and you wanna have the nerve to say, "Well, ain't this something I pay for?" Well, if it's what you pay for, then you should be able to pay yourself, right? Wrong, wrong. That sounds so. That sounds so dumb. It's a benefit that your job provides. 60% of your salary, sir. They provide 60% of your salary because you're out disability. If you was providing it yourself, when you be an entrepreneur? Oh, okay. Mm. And it's not like medical or dental insurance where you could just make your appointments. Anyway, child, long story short, um, yeah. See, I ain't gonna even say these people's name because I do be girl. Let me tell you something. Leave me alone. I'm not the one. I'm not the one or the two. Okay? So, y'all, um, I'm going to go into the store, get a couple things, and then once I get back home, I'm going to, you know, let y'all see everything I got. And, y'all, in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out. Okay? Y'all, I'm, I'm listening to um Funky Dineva. Funky Dineva has been doing all types of reality reviews for like eight to ten years. So most of the time, I'm like him now. I don't really need to go watch a show. If it comes on, um, if I can see it on Instagram or if I can see it on Instagram or Funky Dineva can sum it up, that's where I get mine from. So. I'm just putting up these girls. So y'all, I'm gonna show y'all these. I get these from um, Walmart, um, the spicy chicken filet. They kind of like the Tyson's um, spicy patty. My kids love these, so guess what they can have today? This. 
luxury. We have that today. So yeah, uh, Funky Dineva. He is on YouTube, Instagram. So um, go check him out, y'all. He really is fun. He gives you like the real home girl. Um type of tease, you know what I'm saying? So let me play it. And we talked about Kim Zozier filed for a divorce too. I don't need to go to Old Navy. I ain't been to Old Navy in a minute, but I know a lot of people who love Old Navy. I do too, but I just be like, I don't be shopping like that. But Old Navy had their shorts for $15. And the green ones that y'all seen I tried on, like, I like them. They fit, but of course, like, my butt filled it out. And I just be having thigh, and I don't be, mm, mm So, I got these ones right here, these Bermuda and I'm going to go get them taken in because at first I was like, mm, but I'm going to get them taken in around the waist because that's probably going to be a look, an outfit I'm going to be taking to Miami. So, about to put my plug-ins in. I like to always keep plug-ins in my house, y'all, but um, <clears throat> no shade, no tea, but these plug-ins, they do be having your light bill going up. They do. Quick economic lesson, guys. When your money stop rolling in, and this goes for anybody that's an assistant manager down at McDonald's <laughs> up to the, the CEO of Walgreens. When your money get funny and it stop rolling in real steady, you have to immediately stop the bleeding. And the biggest bleed is your housing expense, all right? A lot of people get their heart, soul, emotions, and their ego wrapped up in houses. But more importantly, what are people going to think if I have to move? What the fuck are they going to think if you get put out? <laughs> what are they going to think when they can look up your name and your name come across the courthouse records? Hello. What are they going to think when they ran past your house and your furniture sitting outside? Bitch, I'd rather leave gracefully did it get put out and be all on the coat house steps especially if I am a celebrity all right Kim and Croy should have did the moment they went three months behind on their mortgage they should have instantly been looking for a way to sell their home and downsize but instead y'all chose to just keep bleeding 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 money I don't know what their bills are, but I would imagine at least twenty to thirty thousand dollars a month just goes out the door like this. I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight. Maybe I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Fighting on my mind. Fighting on my life. You. I'm trusting you, baby. I want this I want it to work out so bad But I feel it in my chest and I I want it I want that yeah, yeah. Well, I've never thought I loved you You Girl, look at her. Y'all, look at Courtney. I'm going to link her channel below. Look, she said my whole YouTube name. Miss Courtney. I was just like, Courtney. I was like, okay, hey, y'all, so I made it back home. Shout out to Courtney, y'all. When I said Courtney, that one time that I said I thought I seen her, that's Courtney. Y'all go check out her channel. I love Courtney. Her daughter is so funny. Another content creator from the South. So let me show y'all what I got from Target. So I got the pajamas. And I've been wanting these ones. But for some reason, why y'all, they look so big. It's large. And I think I have a medium in there. I don't know. Anyways. Now you ask somebody. I hope they, the ones upstairs is a large. But I think I can fit a medium. What else I got? Some wine. That's right. Mind your business. And I got me a poppy. Got me a poppy. So yeah, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this weekly vlog I did on what what, what went on? 
the seafood boil night over Raven's house. Um, y'all go check out her channel. And then I had like a lot of hauls. Yeah, a lot of hauls. Like living in Dallas. Living in Dallas. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Check out some other videos. Go check out some of my surgery videos. Go check out my Instagram at Miss Queen underscore D. And I will see you in the next video, next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.